What is up everybody, it's CJ Place here and I'm back with another Sims 3 world overview. And the world that we're gonna be looking at today is called Palmerania. This world is by Axolotl5 and this world is unpopulated, meaning that there are no Sims that live here. I saw this world over on the exchange and I was like, I just need to see what it looks like. As y'all can see, it's not really big. I've been in my like small world era lately, like <laughs> last Friday, today, you know, just looking at small worlds. But I found another one and I was like, I kind of just want to see what this one looks like. As y'all can see, the majority of the world is just rabbit holes and houses. Like <laughs> there's only two communities lots we have this one the promenade beach and we have this one the pacifica cemetery that's it so i kind of just want to see what's here y'all let's check it out today i don't really know about what packs you'll need for this world it didn't say on the exchange or in the world description so i have no idea but as always if i see something and i can identify it i will point it out but let's go ahead and get into it y'all so i think i'm gonna start you know down here at the promenade beach and we'll just you know keep going that way oh this lot is cute it kind of reminds me of a house and it also kind of reminds me of island paradise but this is cute though like i like it okay well over here we have some tables we have some lounge chairs there is this building i really want to open this up to see what's on the inside of it Ooh, okay so we have like a i guess it's like a rest stop or like a sitting area so you have some chairs a stereo a table a fridge and a coffee machine so you can come in here to get quick meals and stuff like that or drink coffee if you want to so you do have options and then going back over this way we have a fire pit and we also have a couple of these buildings i don't know what's on the inside let's open it up oh they're bathrooms okay so you have your showers your sinks your tubs that kind of thing okay so you do have your bathrooms here you know and you are at the beach so you know you can always swim if you want to hang out by the ocean yeah so you have options there's i think over here is supposed to be like a parking lot for the beach or maybe it's not maybe it's on the same lot as this house <laughs> maybe that's what it is okay well let's go over here next again this is the pacifica cemetery so let's just check this out Ooh, this is nice too i like how tropical it looks <laughs> okay well we're down here at the cemetery so there are a lot of graves out here again this world is unpopulated so all of these should just be decorative they should all say remain you do have a couple of park benches all sprinkled around and then of course you do have your mausoleum over here but i think that's like everything and I, also too this graveyard is right by the beach in the water so you could always swim if you want to <laughs> so that was the last community lot so we'll check out the houses next we should be able to see most of them if not all of them today so i'm gonna start off by showing y'all the house that i placed elliot down at this is i think there's only two starter homes for one sim in this world so i think the other one is like back that way but over here this is where i placed elliot down at as y'all can see is a really nice starter home i like how it has this little carport area like i think that's so cool but let's go ahead and open up his house so when you come in you have a living room you have a table you have your kitchen oh it leads into the bathroom okay and then over here we just have a bedroom with a dresser oh you have like a sliding door the fact that this is a starter home y'all that's wild <laughs> i want to get better at making starter homes now because this house has everything so like i said it had a sliding door that leads to the back yard yard so back here you have a grill and a picnic table and that's pretty much it you do have some yard space so you could add more stuff out here if you wanted to but it is just a one bedroom house and i do love the way it looks all right i guess we could go next door to elliot now i don't think this one was a starter home but let's just open it up to see Ooh, this is nice and cute i like this one okay so when you come in you have your living room area i love the brick over here behind the tv going over this way we have a dining table we have our kitchen over here and then back this way is a bedroom. You have your mirror and you have your dresser. And then over here is like a nursery. Oh, it has like a little chair. This is cute. I like the color scheme. It's like a nice, like calming blue color. Over here you have a bathroom and then outside you have a patio section. So out here, we just have a grill and we also have a table. Okay, well this house is kind of cute. Honestly, all these houses are really well made. Like, mm, they're kind of giving the vibes. <laughs> okay, I want to go across the street to check out this house really quick. Ooh, this one is also kind of cute. I like the color scheme with the shutters on it. Honestly, all this house is reminding me of like some of my houses, especially this floor. Like, it's kind of giving CJ vibes. <laughs> okay well when you come in you have a little foyer you also have a bedroom over here 
Going back over this way, we have a nursery. I like the little rocket ships on the carpet. That's really cute. Over here, we have a bathroom. Going over this way, we have our kitchen. We have our dining table. I like how it has this little half wall right here. So you can like look over at the dining table. It's kind of cute. <laughs> There's also a desk over here. We have a living room over here behind it. And then we also have another bedroom over here as well. And then outside of the house, we do have a little back deck space. So we have a park bench, a grill, a table, and then it kind of leads down to the water. So you can come and lounge out here if you want to, or just swim in the water. And then like right beside the house that you have a garage, which is empty on the inside. It does have a back door though. Ooh, what about the one that's right beside it? I didn't even see this one. Can we check out this one next? Ooh, I love the color scheme. That's nice. These houses are really well made. I'm going to open up this one to see what's on the inside though. Okay, so once you come in, you have a bedroom over here by the front entryway. You have a bathroom. I like the color of the uh, countertops in here. It's kind of nice. <laughs> Going over this way, we have our dining table. It leads you to the kitchen. It's really small. And then over here, oh, I like how you can like look over at the living room. But over here though, you do have your living room. There's also a little workspace over here too. Ooh, you know what y'all? I've never thought to stack these photos on top of each other, but that actually looks nice. I might start doing that. Honestly, this world is giving me a lot of building ideas, especially with this wallpaper. Like I like to do brick wallpaper sometimes time but i don't really ever use the wallpaper with the trim at the top i might start using it now because that looks really nice <laughs> outside of the house though you don't really have much there is like a little deck out here you do have like some space over here on the porch but that's pretty much it for the backyard and then once you go upstairs we have a bedroom here we have our bathroom and then we have this other bedroom this one is given like teen room vibes you know there's a guitar our computer desk in this room over here is a bathroom and then going over this way we have like a primary bedroom with an ensuite and then going back this way, we have a little deck space out here with a telescope and a lounge chair. I'm telling y'all, these houses are so well made. It makes me want to build something in this world. I want to go over to these houses. These look like little townhouses. They look all nice and pastel. And I really want to see what these look like. So can we check out this one first? Is it like a salmon color, I guess, or like a pink? Let's open it up to see. Ooh, let's see. So when you come in, we have a bookshelf by the front door. Going over this way, we have a living room. Over here, we have a bathroom. We have a kitchen right over here. I really like this kitchen. Like, this is really nice. Oh, and it has like a separate sink. I don't ever do this in my builds, but yo, that's kind of interesting. All right, well, we have our kitchen here. We have a little backyard area with a table and an easel. There's also a grill out here as well. So up here, you have two bedrooms. This one has access to a balcony. And then this one over here has like an ensuite bathroom. Okay. And then we also have like an upstairs living room, you know, so you can come and like play games or watch TV. And then upstairs, yet again, you have a little workspace in the middle. You have a kid's room over here. Oh, and it's up on a platform. I don't really do this that often. I've done it before in The Sims 4, but I've never really had like a kid's room with a little platform. I might start doing that more. <laughs> over here, we have a bathroom and then we do have another bedroom over here. So this house has a ton of space, like so much space. Oh, there's even like an upstairs balcony. I didn't even see that. How do you get there? Oh, you entered through this way. Okay. All right. Well, can we check out the blue house that's right beside it? Because like, I want to see what this one looks like next. Let's open up this one. Ooh, I like how they all have different layouts. So down here, we have a living room. There's an easel. We have like a little sitting area by the bookshelf. Over here, we have a bathroom. We have a nice kitchen space. This looks beautiful. Oh, I like how it has a little computer desk in here too. And then in the backyard, we just have a slide. I don't really think there's anything else back here. Upstairs, we have a nursery. Look at the colors. This is so cute. I like the color scheme. We have a bedroom here with an ensuite bathroom. Over this way, we have like a kid's room. There's even like a desk in here too. And then once you go upstairs, we have a home gym. Yo, with a TV on the inside of it, these Sims rich. <laughs> but you have a home gym. There's a bathroom. We have like an art studio i don't know maybe it's just like a recreational room or like a home office or something like that but it has two easels and computer desk in here a bookshelf this house is noise y'all like the sims that live in this world are living lavish also it looks like all of the items that i've seen so far appear to be base game so it could be a base game world i'm not really for sure i guess we'll like see as we keep going along why don't we check out this yellow house next though Ooh, this one is cute so inside of here we have a living room we have a little bar over here in the hallway we have a nice bathroom. I love the color scheme. Going over this way, we have a dining table with a kitchen. There's a computer desk in here as well. In the backyard, we have a grill and table. So it's like a little patio. So upstairs, we have an office that has access to a balcony. We have a bedroom here, 
another one over here oh i love the color scheme of the bed sheet it goes really well with the dusty pink chairs over here like that's a really nice color it also has an ensuite and then once you go upstairs you have another bathroom and two more bedrooms i honestly love how many bedrooms are in these houses like you can fit so many sims in here like legit <laughs> i'm honestly y'all these might be some of my favorite ones so far like these are so well made why don't we keep moving along though is this a house that's right beside it oh it is Ooh, this one looks nice on the outside so i scrolled all the way down at the bottom so down here we have a little sitting area there's a bathroom we have a bedroom here with an art easel and computer desk and then over here we have like a little sitting area um, there's also a foosball table and it leads you to the back of the house. So you just have like a little patio. Why don't we go upstairs? So up here, oh, we have a kitchen. Okay. So we have our kitchen, our dining table. And then when you go upstairs again, Ooh, I love like all the, uh, split leveling in here. So when you go upstairs, we have a sitting area or maybe like a little living room like a mini living room over here we have a workspace with two desks there's even like a little sitting area over here by the bookshelf and then once you go upstairs again ooh, we have y'all these houses are amazing honestly i love this world <laughs> okay so up here we have a living room we have a sitting area with an art easel we have a bathroom and we have two bedrooms so this one has a tv on the inside of it what if we go upstairs again there's even more bedrooms there's two more this bedroom has a tv and a computer desk and this one just has a desk but honestly y'all these houses are so good they're so well made i'm going over this way for a second this lot is listed as a laboratory the pacifica laboratory but it's actually i think like a functional rabbit hole i just want to open it up to see really quick it honestly looks like a museum so you like you have places to sit you have like some art on display and stuff like that but like can you actually go down below oh you can hold on let's go all the way down oh okay so you have like your base game rabbit hole down here that makes a lot of sense actually because i was like how is there gonna be a science lab here if you can actually open up the building and that makes a lot of sense i really like that oh look at this house behind it Ooh, this one is nice i love the color scheme it has like this little tower that's attached to it y'all these houses are beautiful can we open up this one really quick i just want to see like <laughs> okay so when you come into this one you have a living room we have a kitchen a dining table bathroom over here this room that's like the tower has a ladder let's just scroll up so when you go all the way to the very top you just have like a little place to lounge but there's not much else in here and then back inside the house you just have two bedrooms up here so this one could be like for a kid or a teen this one is like maybe the parents bedroom or just a primary bedroom and then out behind the house we have a playhouse and then we have like a table okay i was really wondering what was here now what about this house that's right beside it like apparently there's like a bridge to go inside of the house like this might be one of the richest families in the world <laughs> can we just check out this one next let's just open Open up this one. Ooh, there's so much to look at, y'all. Okay, well, when you enter in, you have a foyer, you have an office space. Going over this way, we have a bedroom, a bathroom, we have our kitchen space over here. I love the dark hardwood colors. We have a dining space here. Going over this way, this appears to be the den space. We also have a little workspace in the corner. Outside of the house, we have a table. We have a little, is this a fountain? Yeah, this is like a fountain. We have a nice pool area over here though. Like, yo, look at all the detail. <laughs> we have a pool, some lounge chairs. We have like a little chill spot over here, like on the pier, like, hello, these Sims is rich. <laughs> there's an easel, there's a fire pit. And then going back this way, we have a nice fancy fountain, some places to sit out and lounge. There's a lot going on back here. And then this looks like a separate section to the house. What's in here? Oh, it's like a home gym. So you have treadmills, weight machines. There's a stereo. Okay. And then what's over here? Hold on. What's up? What's this way? Oh, so up here is just like a little sitting area with a telescope. Okay. Well, let's go upstairs to check out the rest of the house. So once you go upstairs, we have a bedroom over here. Going back this way, this appears to be a nursery. In the hallway, we just have some places to sit and a couple of bookshelves. Over here appears to be a bathroom. Oh, I think it's attached to this bedroom. So it's like an ensuite. Ooh, this bedroom is pretty fancy though. Again, I love the platforms. Very, very fancy. <laughs> but this bedroom does have an ensuite. And then going back over this way, we have another bedroom. We have a bathroom over here. And I think there was something back this way. So over here, this is like a tower section of the house. There's nothing in these, but when you go upstairs, this one only has a telescope. Okay, so I think we've seen everything for this house, y'all. This one was huge, but 
very well made. Now, there is like this little house that's right outside of it, though. So can we check out this one really quick just to see what it looks like? Ooh, OK. So inside of here, we have a living room. We have our kitchen. We have a bedroom and then we also have a bathroom back here. So it is just a one bedroom, one bathroom house. I don't think that we've seen these houses and I really want to see what these look like really quick. I don't know how I glossed over them, but uh, I guess we could check this one on the end first. This one has like a green car in the front yard and I really do like the color scheme of it. So inside of here, oh, this house is nice. Y'all, I'm telling you, all the houses here are nice. Like, oof, I love this world. <laughs> okay, so inside of here we have a living room we have a bedroom behind it we have like a little home office space and it has like a mirror over here over here we have a bathroom we have a kitchen a dining space we have another bedroom back here with an ensuite and there appears to be like a ladder or something that goes upward so let's just see what's up here oh it's like another bedroom up here i love how these houses have so many bedrooms a lot of them like you can fit so many sims here y'all and in the back of the house we have a grill and we have a table and a little park bench okay what about the house that's beside it though this one looks similar to the one that we just saw but let's just open it up to see okay so inside of here we have a living room a dining space going over this way we have a bathroom a kitchen out here we have a little chill spot with a grill and table and then like it leads down into a pool with a couple lounge chairs and then when you go back inside of the house we have a bedroom here we have a another bedroom but it has a ladder so let's go upstairs oh the bed is up here so technically all of this is just like one room but the bed is at the top of the house that's pretty interesting <laughs> okay well i think that's everything for this house so now i want to go back this way because i don't think i've seen what this is now i'm assuming it's a house is this a house no the pacifica beach hmm i did not know this was here i mean i guess it's like all on the same line it is right beside the smuggler's lair but i didn't see this y'all I guess it's just not listed. Okay, well, uh, outside of it, we do have some tables, some lounge chairs, and then we do have this building. So let's just open this up. So inside of here, we have a chess table. There's a stereo, a little sitting area. There's a bar over here too, a bookshelf, some more places to sit. We have some toys over here as well. I guess it's just like a little chill spot. And then like over here, we have some places to chill. There are bathrooms over here in this building. There's also a fire pit out here as well, but I think that's like everything. Honestly, I was thinking that this was a house, but it's actually a beach. Interesting. I'm glad that we checked that out. Y'all could have missed it. All right. Well, I want to go back this way because there's some more houses that we haven't seen yet. So I want to just start over here and look at this one first. This house has a really nice color scheme. The blue with the grayish brick color. Oh, this is nice. Also, what wallpaper is this? Because I love the border too. I'm telling you, I'm about to start using some of these ideas. This world just has so many good houses. <laughs> okay. So inside of here, we have a little foyer. We have a bedroom. It leads into a mini bathroom over here. Going back this way, we have a den space or a living room area. We have a dining room. We have a bathroom here that leads into a kitchen, which looks really fancy. Going back this way, we have a little pool. We have a little like deck space area over here with a grill and some tables. And then once you go upstairs, so up here, we have a bedroom. We have a little sitting area over here by the computer desk. We have a bathroom here. We have this bedroom that has an ensuite bathroom. And this bedroom is pretty cute. And then going back over here, we have another bedroom. Okay. And I think that's everything for this house. So let's go right next door to it. This one kind of reminds me of the one we just saw, but let's just open this one up. Okay. So down below, we have a pretty big foyer. <laughs> it leads into the living room. We have like a little office over here. Going back over this way, we have a dining room. We have a kitchen area over here. And then going back over this way, Ooh, okay, we have a bedroom, a bathroom here, and then in the back of the house, we have a pool. There is a little patio out here. This is cute. All right, let's go upstairs real quick. So once you go upstairs, we have like a little sitting area in the hallway. We have a bedroom here with an ensuite. We have this other bedroom here with access to this balcony. Oh, you know what? I just realized this too. This is all one bedroom. I don't know why I thought this was like a separate room. It's all one room. It has a couple dressers over here too. So maybe it's like a little closet space or something. Over here, we have a bathroom. We have a bedroom here with a little treasure chest. <laughs> and I think that's everything for this house. All right, I wanna go like over here beside it to check out this house. Now, are these two separate houses? I think so. Let's check out this one first. I think this is the other starter home, I wanna say. So inside of here, we have a kitchen, a dining table. We have a little living room. We have like a little sitting area over here. There's a bathroom and a bedroom. So I think, like I said, this one is the other starter home, I wanna say. And then right beside it, we have this other house. Oh, this one is cute. I like how the parking space 
has the terrain paint underneath it to make it look like it's been sitting there for a while. That's honestly a nice touch. So inside of here, we have like a little sitting area by the TV. Going over this way, we have a kitchen, we have a dining table, we have a bedroom here with an ensuite bathroom. Going over this way, we have a bathroom, we have a little nursery. Ooh, look at the nursery. This is cute. Okay. And then we also have like a bedroom over here too. So this is like a three bedroom house. Outside of the house, we have a table and there's also a grill. But I'm telling y'all, these houses are phenomenal. I love them. Ooh, what about this house that's right here? This one is bigger, obviously, but it looks kind of similar to the other ones that we just saw. So down below, we have a foyer, a bathroom. So over here, we have a bedroom with an ensuite. I love the color scheme. Ooh, I like the wallpaper too. And then going back over this way, we have a dining room. We have a kitchen over here. We have like a door that leads to like a little deck space. So out here we have a grill, a table, and some places to lounge. We are kind of right by the water. So you do have like a little deck space out here where you can come and sit down. You can fish out here if you want to or get into the water and swim. So you have options. When you go back inside of the house, we have a living room. There's a fireplace, a bar, a little workspace in the corner. And then once you go upstairs, let's see. When you go upstairs, we have a bedroom here with a computer desk. And it also has an ensuite bathroom. Over here, we have another bedroom with an ensuite. And then going back over here, we have a bathroom. And we have another bedroom here. Again, I love how the beds are on platforms. That's kind of nice. <laughs> and then this bedroom also has like a little computer desk as well. Okay, well, I think that's everything for this house. Okay, so we did not see this house, I believe. Or honestly, I don't even think we saw this one either. Hold on, did we see this house? Let me just scroll down and see. I don't think we saw this one. No, we did not. I missed it. Okay, let's check this one out first. <laughs> I honestly like how this house has this little detail where it has like these little like columns or whatever and like the windows are like kind of behind it. That's kind of nice. <laughs> but let's open up the house. So inside of here, we have a kitchen, a dining space, a living room. Going back over this way, we have a bedroom here, another bedroom right over here as well with a computer desk. And then we also have a bathroom. And behind the house, it's not much out here, but you do have a little bit of space. So you could add something if you would like to, you know. So really quick, I just want to check out this house because I feel like we've seen this one already, but I can't be for sure. Did we see this one? Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, so I think we saw all the houses. <laughs> okay, that's great. <laughs> well, before we go, I'm just going to scroll down here for a second just to see what the little rabbit holes look like. I mean, we've seen these before, right? But I just want to see the area. Oh, this is cute, though. It's like a little mini town spot. So we have our hospital. We have our city hall. I want to say that this building, I think this is like the bookstore, business and journalism and bookstore. I'm pretty sure this one comes with Isla Paradiso. So I think you're going to need Island Paradise for this world. But honestly, even if you don't have it installed, I'm pretty sure you can still download this world. Like, I think this might just not show up or you might have to replace it. Honestly, y'all, I would say just check out this world because, like, most of it appears to be base game. But, like, I, I really like looking at this one. <laughs> like, over here, we have our bistro. We have a grocery store. We have our... This is a spa, isn't it? Yeah, we have our spa. There's also a little school area over here. Like, look at the school. It's so cute. Like, honestly. Wait, can you actually open up the school? Hold on. Can you open this up? You can. Y'all, I would have missed this. So when you first come in, you have bookshelves, a little sitting area. We have some computers over here as well. Y'all, I would have missed all of this. <laughs> and then, like, over here, we have, like, some more places to sit, more bookshelves, a couple easels. Is there anything above it? Oh, yeah, we have chess tables, more bookshelves. Out here on the balconies, we have a couple of telescopes. And then, like, over here, we just have some bathrooms. Now, there was something down below. I'm going to assume it's just a rabbit hole. Oh, wait, this is the stadium? I thought this was going to be the school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, is there something even below this? Oh, okay, okay. So, the school is all the way at the bottom. Okay, I was wondering about that. So, basically, if you have kids or whatever, or your sim is a teacher, they would come to this lot and go down these steps and enter the rabbit hole. Okay, so I guess like the stadium is just above it. Okay, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. The stadium is here. The school is here. Okay. Well, anyway, y'all, <laughs> that's pretty much everything for this video. I think we've seen all the houses. I really hope I didn't miss any. Honestly, if I did miss anything or you want to get a closer look at the world, I'll leave a link down below. Now, before we go, I do want to go into edit town mode just to see if there are any additional lots or empty lots. Oh, there are actually. We have one here, here, here in here so it looks like there's four of them in all but honestly if you need more space you could always bulldoze a lot and replace it with something else if you need it to so yeah i really liked looking at this world y'all so i'm gonna leave this one link down below again this world is called pal morena and i really really love this one so yeah but anyway y'all that is all that i have for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below follow me over on twitch where i stream a lot more of the sims and i'll see you in the next video bye thanks for watching